In this video, we are going to be looking at SQL basics involving joins, and in this video, we are going to be discussing the left anti-join. So first, before we get into the anti-join, let's look at the data that we have been using for these examples. We have table one and we have table two, and we'll notice the IDs. There's two IDs in each table that overlap. That would be three and four. The letters are unique and the vowels are unique. Uh, you can pause the video and look at the differences between the tables. This will help you understand the examples. <clears throat> Now, in a previous video, we were looking at left join as a filter. And as we see in this query, when we run this query, we're saying select star from table one, left join on table two, where T1 I, uh, table one ID equals table two ID. And we're saying where table two ID is null. And what we learned was that when we left join table one to table two, it's going to bring back all of the results on table one and table two including the ones that match. So in this case though, because we put this where clause here, we're saying, tell me the values in table one where there isn't a table two ID, right? So we remember if we look at these data, there is a ID of three and four. Those didn't come back because those would not be null. But the one and two came back because there is no one and two in table two, right? So what we're really doing here is we're doing a filter. By the way, another way of uh, writing this query is we could say select star from table one, where ID not in select ID from table two. That's one way of also writing it as well, though saying a not in, of course, is not sorgable. Well, in the anti-join, we actually are going to accomplish the same as this query. What we're doing here is we're selecting, except we're just selecting the ID from table one, and we're doing the left anti-join on table two, where table one ID equals table two ID. Now, this anti-join means that it's going to go out and it's going to get the records in table one that do not exist in table two based on the join criteria. In this case, that would be the IDs. So if we go back to this, uh, one and two do not exist in table two. Three and four do. So when it does the anti-join, this left anti-join, it says these two do not exist, therefore return uh, these two. Uh, there is one note here, which is you cannot apply a filter on the uh, table that is being anti-joined, right? You can apply a filter on the table one here in this case, but we cannot because that's uh, counterintuitive. So what we would do is we would add that criteria on the join criteria, okay? So let's look at another example here. Remember that letter is unique. When we look at these tables, the letter is always different from table one to table two. So A, B, C, D do not repeat in table two. It's E, F, G, H. So if we do an anti-join from table one and we're doing the join on letter, we would expect, as we see, to get back all of the letters from table one because none of them uh, match in table two. Now, of course, not all SQL languages support left anti-joins. So while this does appear like it's being run in SQL Server, at the present time of this video when it's being made in 2021, uh, left anti-joins are not supported by SQL Server.